Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbets here with MajorGeeks.com. Today looking at how to enable or disable immersive search and rounded corners. A little more of a fun thing than something you might have to do, but we do have the pages here sitting in the background, and there's two of them. One page is the download, so you're going to need the zip file you just saw me pointing at, and you can download that by clicking anything right here. It's an animated arrow to help you draw your eye to it and download the file. Once you have that, you won't need this anymore, but you might need the guide. Now the guide shows you, as you can see right here, here, how they each look a little different. See the rounded corners? And they're all pretty self-explanatory, but just to show you how easy it is to do, the, the code is also here, so those of you who want to copy and paste and make your own registry edits, you can. So let's play around with this some. We'll look at the basic search by just starting the search. Let's tape high. And this is what you're used to seeing. And again, it's not a big deal, but I think you'll dig it. So here's all your files. So what you want to do is extract all of them wherever you want. We're just going to put them here on the desktop. And there they are. So basically, each one has an explanation in the name, properly named. Enable floating immersive full search bar. So we can click that. Click on yes. We don't have to do anything after that, except click yes again. And it is implemented. So we press the Windows key. Oops, sorry. Press the search button. I, I really got to stop doing videos on Mondays. Start typing hi. As you can see, it's a little bit different now. Now, if you don't like that, feel free to go ahead and close it. And now just click on Disable Floating Immersive Search Bar. And you can try another one until you get whatever it is you want. So we've tried that. Let's try it with the rounded corners. Click Yes. Click Yes. Click OK. Go to Search. And you can see we now have little rounded corners in here. Just a little nicer look. That's about it. So once again, I didn't like that. So I'll hit Disable. And this kind of neat thing. You can just Enable, Disable at will and you're not doing any damage to your system. So let's enable the floating immersive search bar. So you can now see that your search is floating up here until you start typing, of course, then it fills out. But as you can see, it floats around and sits a lot smaller on the screen. So let's disable that and add it with rounded corners. So all you gotta do is decide which one you want. Enable floating immersive search bar with rounded corners. You can see the search is back here in the background as it was. So let's enable floating immersive search bar with rounded corners. Click yes. Yes. Okay. And go ahead and hit your search. And there it is with a nice little rounded corners. So all depends on which one you want. Of course, you might be happy with things the way they are, but hey, we like to play around with stuff here. You know that. So that's it. So it's as simple as deciding which one of the four options you want. And if you change your mind, just disable at any given time, and it never happens. So we just thought we'd do the video real quick, only because when you have four different things, it frankly, gets a little more confusing than it needs to be. And as you can see, it's not confusing in any way, shape, or form. It's just with four choices, that hopefully you understand what each one does. And that's it. So just a neat little hack for you to play around with if you're looking to do something a little different with your windows. And Hopefully you get a kick out of it. We did. So, hey, thanks for watching. As always, click like, click subscribe, blah, 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 blah. See you next time.